let's talk about custom tags in Minecraft Modding. 121 Minecraft Modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found us back in Tell once more and in this tutorial we'll be talking about custom tags and I'm not speaking about the name tags. No, no, no. This is going to be tags which are sort of collections of certain items, blocks, or almost anything else that you can imagine that is basically being addable to the game via our modding right here. And in our case, in our example, we're going to be adding an item tag, which is going to, well, sort of function in the following way. Not the chisel item actually, but actually for the magic block. So what we have here is that when we throw a raw Alexandrite, it turns into a diamond. But let's just say what we actually want is, well, I kind of also want it to turn into a diamond if you throw on let's say, a uh, gold ingot or and like maybe two or three other items. And then, of course, we could add the if statements for that. That would work. But if we want to make this a little bit more sort of expandable in the future, let's say, for example, another mod, you know, wants to add their own items to this particular thing as well, then how would they do that, right? They can't really do that via this if statement. They can't change our own if statement. But if we were to add a tag and then this particular mod adds their own items to our tag, that would actually work. So it makes your mod more intercompatible with other mods. So in this case, there's basically two places where you need to define a tag. You can define a tag inside of the uh, code. However, that is not strictly necessary. In our case, it is necessary because we want to well actually be able to use it in our code. But the one thing that you definitely need to or where you need to definitely define it is inside of the data folder, right? So we've seen tags before with the mineable right here, right? So you can see under the Minecraft tags block, they had the mineable tag as well as the needs diamond and needs iron tool tags. And now the idea is now we're going to create custom tags as well. So first of all, let's do that with the code. So inside of the code, so in the tutorial mode package, I'm going to make a new package. I'm going to call util. That's just always where I put my tags basically. And then inside of that package, we're going to create a new Java class called the mod tags class. This mod tags class will contain two different static classes. It's going to be the public static class over here called blocks. And then we'll have another one that's the public static class called items. And we're going to start with the items one. We need a helper method. That's going to be a private static tag key from netminecraft tags of type item in this case. And then this is going to be the create tag method with a string name parameter. And we're going to return item tags dot create, making a resource location dot from namespace and path, passing in tutorial mod dot mod ID, and then the name. And that is the helper method done. We can literally just copy this helper method over to the other one and change this to a block here, making sure we choose net Minecraft world level block. And then instead of the item tags, we say block tags dot create. And then the blocks class is also done to then actually, you know, create that particular tag. We want to make a public static final tag key of type item. We're going to call this the transformable transformable items underscore items. There you go equal to the create tag method and then transformable underscore items as the name. And I mean, that's pretty much it. That is the tag now accessible via the code. So in the magic block, what we can now do is instead of saying, hey, this is the item right here equal to raw Alexandrite, what we're going to do is we're going to make a helper method. So in the side of this if statement, we're going to say is, is valid item passing in item entity dot get item and what we can then do is hover over this and create that method. We can see it automatically makes it a Boolean return and it gets the item stack that we're passing in here. And here we can then say return item dot is and then say mod tags dot items dot items and import that class alt and enter transformable items over here. And you can see there we go. The code is, of course, also available to you down below. And now when we add different items to this particular tag, well, those will all be valid to be turned into diamonds in this case. All right, so for the sake of argument, what we're going to do is in the data folder, instead of tutorial mod, we're going to right click new directory called tags. Inside of there, another new directory called item because this is an item tag. And then making sure that the name that we're giving it right here matches exactly the name of the JSON file that we're creating. So transformable underscore items.json. 
The contents of this I'm simply going to copy over for the sake of argument. And you can see here, in this case, we're going to have Alexandrite, right? So we can even change Alexandrite, raw Alexandrite. We're going to be able to change coal, a stick, as well as a compass. So all of those different items, we can now go ahead and throw onto our magic block and actually change to a diamond. So we basically expanded the amount of items that we can, well, basically change. And also, once again, if another mod were to add the data tag right here, right, this particular tag, and they would add their own custom items in here, well, that would just work, right? It would just, it would just work as well. We could even do certain things where you add a custom item over here that's optional, right? So if we could add, let's say, I don't even know what it is, but like an osmium ingot, let's say, from mechanism or something like that, right? I could say, well, you know, optional mechanism osmium ingot, and then if mechanism was actually in in the project as well, then we would be able to throw that on the magic block as well, and actually it would change too. And that's why the tags can be so incredibly powerful, because they allow you to get way more, like, compatibility with other mods and actually, you know, I don't want to say share functionality, but more or less, right? You share some functionality, you're going to be able to do certain things like that. So that's pretty cool, but that is going to be the one example. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, I found it back in Minecraft, and I think I have all of the items that we can transform, except for the redstone. That should not work, so we can see redstone does not work. However, all of the rest should work. Coal turns into a diamond. Stick turns into a diamond. Compass turns into a freaking diamond. Raw Alexandrite turns into a diamond. Alexandrite turns into a, a freaking diamond. We have diamonds for eternity out here. Look at this, right? Everything turns into a diamond uh, that we basically defined in that particular tag. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And that is custom tags added to Minecraft. Awesome. Another thing that might be interesting for you to note is that for your recipes, right, when we define the item right here, this, in theory, could be replaced with a tag as well, right? So instead of item, you can say tag right here, and then instead of the Alexandrite, we can then say this is going to be a transformable items, right? So we could take that name right here and say this, and now if I were to put in any of the transformable items right here, I would get an Alexandrite block out of it, right? So via a 3x3 over here. Obviously, that doesn't make a lot of sense in this example. I just wanted to mention that as well, because that could be pretty cool as well. But that is it for this tutorial right here. Next time, oh yeah, we'll talk about data gen. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.